In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can easily make 3D text inside of your Roblox game. Just before we get started, I'm going to show you how this works. So as you can see, I have my 3D text plugin here. And what we can do is we can activate the cursor, place our text, type in some text, hello everybody. We can change the font and we can change the color and material. Now before we get started, I'm going to show you on how you can install this plugin. To install this plugin, you need to navigate to the link down in the description below. Once you click on that, it should take you to a page that looks a little bit like this. Now a massive shout out goes to the creator of the plugin, all credits to them, XAXA for making this amazing plugin. To download it, what you need to do is click on the link, and that will take you to the creator hub. Then click get plugin and install it. Once the plugin is installed, you can open a place of your choice or create a brand new one. Then, once that is done, you can navigate over to the Plugins tab and you're going to see that 3D Text is now an available plugin option. To launch it, we can just click on the icon and it's going to give us this little menu on the left. Then what we can do is we can activate our cursor and it just shows us a quick sample of where the text will be. So we can put it on the ground, the spawn point, the wall, and we have options to R to rotate it like this or to tilt like this by pressing T. I'm just going to keep it like this, and then I'm going to click on enter. Then, once it's done, we're going to see that we have this text here. We have a couple of menus here. We have typography, which lets us configure all of the text, how it looks, what it says, and its general configuration. We have transform to change the physical attributes of our text, and we have appearance to once again customize some of our properties. So in the typography box, what we can do here is we get a 3D cursor, which is pretty nice, and we can just type some text in it. Let's just say, remember to like, and this also supports multiple lines, and subscribe, exclamation mark. Now in here, we can customize our font, so we have a ton of different fonts we can use. We can use this, we can use all of these amazing different fonts here. I think I'm going to go with this little bit one. Then what we can do is we can change the tracking and the leading here. The tracking is effectively how close together the letters are. So you can see if I make this value super duper low, all the text is bunched up. However, if I start to spread it apart, you're going to see that the letters get more and more disconnected. So tracking is essentially the distance in between each letter. Next we have the leading, and the leading is essentially the line height. So as you can see here, we have two sentences, and if I reduce this leading value, we're going to see that the sentences eventually start to merge like this. We can also make this value much higher if we want the sentences to be far apart. I'm just going to keep that on the default values for now. Now moving on to the transform menu, you're going to see we have thickness, scale, x align, z align, right and up. So today we're just going to be worrying about the four possible options, thickness, scale, x align and z align. So as you can see, this is the current thickness of our text. We can make it more thick, and we can make it less thick, so really quite self-explanatory. Then we also have our scale, which is just the general size, so we can make the text super small, like this, or we can make it some really big text, just like this. Then you're also going to notice we have our X align and our Z align. So with the X align, we can change where it's going to be aligned on the X parameter, just like this, and then we have the Z align, where we can also change where it's going to be aligned in the Z align. So you can just experiment with those to what you feel is necessary. And then next we have the appearance menu. So in the appearance menu we can change the part mode, the material and the appearance. So this is also super simple, it takes a simple RGB value and also has a selector so we can make this text any color we want. And then we can change the part mode. I would honestly just recommend keeping this on mesh part so you can change the material. And then we can also change the material of the text. Just like this. So I hope this video helped you understand on how you can easily make 3D text inside of Roblox Studio. That's all for me. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or you just want to talk about Roblox in general, you can join my website on forms.thecookie.dev or head to my Discord, which are both linked down below. That's all from me, thank you for watching, and bye bye